tens of thousands of Jackson residents were without running water Tuesday after flooding exacerbated long-standing problems in one of two water treatment plants. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves said late Monday that Hess declaring a state of emergency for Jackson's water system, and he issued the proclamation Tuesday. The state will try to help resolve problems by hiring contractors to work at the treatment plant, which was operating at diminished capacity with backup pumps after the main pumps failed some time ago, Reeves said. The White House announced late Tuesday night that President Biden had approved Reeves' request for a federal emergency declaration. The declaration authorizes the Department of Homeland Security and the Federal Emergency Management Agency to coordinate all disaster relief efforts which have the purpose of alleviating the hardship and suffering caused by the emergency on the local population, and to provide appropriate assistance. Meanwhile, Reeves also said the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency will start distributing both drinking water and non-potable water, and he activated the National Guard to help. The city of 150, OOO had already been under a boil water notice for a month because the health department found cloudy water that could cause digestive problems. During a Tuesday press conference, Jackson Mayor Chokwe Anderle Mumba said that the city is thrilled to be getting support from the state after battling the Jackson water crisis alone for the past two years. He said it had been a matter of when the system would fail, not if. Lumumba expressed frustration that there was no previous long-term commitment from officials to replace or upgrade Jackson's water system. He estimated that it would take about $1 billion to fully improve the system. Flood water from the Pearl River covered the parking lot at the Mississippi Basketball and Athletics Complex in Jackson, Mississippi, on August 29, 2022. Rogelio Vesalis, Apio Lamomba, a Democrat who wasn't invited to the Republican governor's news conference, said Monday that low water pressure could last a few days. But by Tuesday he said some customers were regaining service. We have seen steady improvements in the system, Lumumba said.